My name's Mike Morse and I'm from Moundville, Missouri. It's Vernon County. And I'm Betty Morris and I'm also from Moundville, Missouri. As a young man, I went to One Room Country School and walked to school and uh, have a high school education, but I always liked farming and uh, cattle and stuff like that. And uh, so we settled here in 1974 and then 1981, I married Betty, a Baptist preacher introduced us and so uh, we've been living happily ever after. <laughs> Actually, our second son, Tim, was the first to graduate with his master's, and he had visited, a I'm, I'm not sure if it was a college fair or a company fair, but a bank in Kansas City had done an interview with him, and he graduated and immediately went to work at a large bank in Kansas City. Joshua, our oldest son, had um, Conical Phillips, had contacted one of the professors looking for someone to fill a position, and she contacted jo Josh and asked, do you want me to send your name in? And he said, sure, <laughs> you know, and he had the job offer before he was told that they would have a decision made, which we felt reflected well on the education he had. And then um, Joel is in his senior year this year, and he did an internship at Coke Industries, and he has been given a job offer. He will start work there in June when he gra after he graduates. You know, in this economy, And to think how tough things are out there in the world. The American dream is still going. It's happened to my wife and I. It's happened to our boys. They've gotten a fine education at Pitt. They've got fine jobs. Our youngest has got a job waiting for him. There's a lot of young people out there that are looking for jobs and they can't find one. We've truly been blessed to uh, be able to share with folks that uh, America is still a great country and a great education. I just have a high school education and my boys have excelled way beyond whatever I could have done. And it's because of Pitt State and the professors and the staff that have made them feel like they're at home, they care about them, and, uh, and they're there for them. Like she says, they're there for them. So we just really feel blessed to have our students go through there. And we love everybody that we've come across. We feel like we're part of the family at Pitt. 